Hello, film fans, and welcome to Pop Takes Spooky Edition. Yes, it is Halloween time, the best time of year. And what are you wearing, Francisco? Well, you see, I am a sexy cat, and I am wearing a sexy scarf because it is cold and I am freezing. See, I'm going to call what I got going on here an interpretation of Jack Skellington from Nightmare Before Christmas. Mm, yeah, interpretation. Give it in the uh, witching hour is upon us. We decided to ask the question, what is the best scary movie monster? That's right. And the criteria is simple. Is it scary and is it in a movie? Well, if that's the criteria, then the answer is simple. The Babadook from The Babadook. Now, first of all, let's just, have you seen the design of The Babadook? It is oh. so good because... Uh, it kind of balances this thing where it's supposed to be in like a children's book and then it pops out into your house and haunts you. So it's very scary and the movie does a really smart thing with keeping it in the shadows but you can't really see it that well until you know later on in the movie so it's so... Yeah, there's an unknown element to it. Yeah, yeah it's, that contributes. Uh, yeah, it's so oh good. But the most important thing is a uh, movie monster is supposed to represent a uh, societal fear and in this case it is uh, the relatable fear of having your husband die and not being able to raise your children as everyone experiences at some point I'm in their life. I'm terrified of that happening. Yes, exactly. I'm and we, we see the protagonist constantly terrified of the Babadook because she's terrified of being inadequate, not being able to take care of her child. And it's kind of like a good balance going on. So that's why I like it. It kind of, uh, you know, boosts the movie's quality. It's, I, I like it. I like the Babadook. Oh, and of course, he is a gay icon according to Netflix. Oh, of course. Yeah. Oh, of course. See, now, I agree, the Babadook is terrifying, but mm -hmm. a B lister compared to who I got. Oh? I got Jack Nicholson's Jack Torrance from The Shining. Ooh. Yeah. I, I know you're aware of mm -hmm. it. Yeah. I'm sure all of you are as well. You see, the human element of Jack Torrance is what makes him scary. It's, it's pretty real that a human being could just snap and then just try and, like, murder his family with an axe. That could happen. And it's, and it's really, really, uh, like, scary, you know? Like, yeah. And also Nicholson's performance. Like, yeah, it's, it's great. Like, it, it's great. Like, it's iconic. Everyone knows it, you know? Like, yeah. the part where he's, like, breaking in with the axe. Everyone's yeah. seen that part. It's pretty yes. cool. Yes, Johnny. Yeah, yeah, exactly. You see? And that could happen to any of us. Like, even, like, I get pretty stressed out all the time because, mm -hmm. you know, like, all work and no play makes Zach a dull boy. Well, now I'm kind of terrified of you, but not quite as terrified as the Babadook. I can't even listen to that. I, I'm the Babadook. Oh. Duk. 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 That got me pretty good. Yeah. Yeah. It's yeah like, I, you know, I can see Babadook yeah. scary. Yeah. You but, sold me. Yeah. Yeah. But I think we've reached some great conclusions today, but neither of us came to the right answer. What's the right answer? Well, it's the Armitage family from Get Out. <laughs> Because there is nothing scarier than an old racist family. Agreed. We hope you enjoyed the show, and I hope to see you here next week. Go to MUTV23 on Twitter and tell us what you think is the scariest movie monster. Or the most romantic movie monster. Hashtag the specimen, shape of water. Whether it's scary monsters or sexy monsters, we'll always be here on E23. See, See you, you next time. time.